prison. Welcome I... back to another episode God. of Red Dead God. Redemption. Thank God you have come. That wretched animal, the Santa, has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulco. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. All right, Go let's now. do it. My men will show you the way. So this is going to be the downfall of the Santa. We took out the captain in episode not too long ago. It was the last episode it is maybe good that you are helping Luisa. It ain't right what happened to her father. She's a brave girl. We're getting to Santa this time. Any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fighting for Reyes. Yes, women, even children. Everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. That's a lot to sacrifice. I just hope it's worth it. It is better to die free than live as slaves. I mean, that's a good point. I'm definitely, uh... Like, my heart is on the side of the rebellions. Obviously, John's kind of playing both sides to get what he wants, but, uh... A soldier once, compadre? A soldier? No, I was never much good at taking order. So where did you <laughs> learn about explosives? I guess some banks ain't easy to get into on weekends. <laughs> I'm sure there's more supplies where those came from. It's good news. But yeah, John's definitely, he's in it for, for personal reasons here. No talking now, compadre. We must stay alert. I'm definitely on the side of the rebellion, though. Let me know what you guys would be on. This is real life siding with the guys who are ruling over everybody, have all the power, and are probably a little corrupt and hurting people, or would you rather be on the side that's being corrupted and fighting for freedom? Tell open fire until I make a move. We don't want to give him a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. No, we're going to take a prisoner of war. Te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick. Asked him if he had any final words and then just shot him right in the head. Come on now. All right, we've got to capture the Santa. Traidores! You fight like a chicken. Who else we have here, baby? That's the Santa right there, so we don't want to kill him. That guy, and this guy's down. Gotcha, baby! Oh no. What are you going to do to Almost got away! Oh, you're done, though, cuz. I'm sorry to say, but uh. I am begging you! I'm gonna have my way with you, son. You deserve it. Yata! Trying to sell me up shit creek, trying to kill me. Trying You're to ready. set me up. I can understand that. You deserve everything that you've got coming to you, baby. <laughs> you fucking pig! Go back to your country! Where is Javier? A square. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. All right. Shit. All right. Casa Madrugal. It's hold up there. Now hurry up and kill me. Or just let me go. Okay? Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? Please! Hmm, I kill the senator or walk away and let the rebels take care of him. I'm gonna do it myself. Go on! Finish it! No! 
Now we're even, Captain. I feel kind of bad about doing that, but he totally deserved it. Sorry about this, partner. Loot that body. He only had six bucks. Dude, he should have had tons and tons of money, man. Come on, you can't give up now. Let's go. There's some things you gotta finish yourself. We all will, my friend. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Why are you stopping? I didn't know I was leading. I Come figured on. he was gonna lead. Okay, we'll lead then. Alright, so we're going after Escuela here. Go! And then maybe Allende after that? Yeah. Let's see what happens. I don't know, I feel bad about killing him, but uh, might as well uh, take responsibility for our actions, because he's going to die either way. Faster. Yeah. This is Casa Magruder, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We was friends once, long time ago, but not anymore. This place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? Watch out, horsey. I need to get out of here. Gonna switch over to one of our other weapons here. Get out of the way, girls. We get hurt in a man's business. Feminists rejoice. I'm missing a lot of shots here, man. How is this guy still alive? There we go. All right, look at that. They had a whole hey, you lady. group of people waiting hmm. for me. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. The Captain DeSantis said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <coughs> Real ladylike. Oh, gosh. That was disgusting. Anyway, well, good stuff, guys. At least we're going to have some bodies to loot and make a little bit of money here. Unfortunately, this is not where we can find Escuela. And yet again, even in his final words, DeSanta ended up lying to us. So it shows what type of person that guy was. I'm glad we made the decision we did. Anyway, I'm going to finish looting these guys up. And then it looks like we have an R mission down there on the mini-map. So we're going to go do that. Abraham Reyes. It's been a while since we've seen this old friend. Getting hardcore judged right now. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Well, 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 look who it is! The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution! I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you, or me, with... With just a few such men, I tell you, I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free! Libre Mexico! Mexico! Libre Mexico! Mexico! Viva la revolución! They're just chugging tequila in the background. It's like food to me. I feel I was sent for them, and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so do you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it 
Or my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! Okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All a robbery? The cost, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. What are we gonna be robbing? Sounds fun. Some Robin Hood action. Steal from the rich, give to the poor. Hopefully it hurts the uh, evil empire. What are they actually called? I'm not even sure. We've been joking around about them being the empire for so long. I don't want to call them the empire. You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. <laughs> You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you found them. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, You'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. Bella! So how did you meet these Williamson and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together. Under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids. Lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to the people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless, make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man. Carajo, cuidado, John. I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. You have quite a story, John Marston. Mierda, you're slowing us down, Marston. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, <laughs> a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad, a musical tribute to a heroic man and the great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio. How I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the <laughs> people have the truth. Not like we had anything to do with that. I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then the son takes his dog outside and rapes it. That's a oh. very specific example, Allende Abraham. Es una marioneta. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Now, what are we coming out here to rob, man? I feel like we've been riding now, forever. But also, it's just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? A oh, robbery train. information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to this. Oh, watch what you're writing. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there. 
but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. All right, sounds good to me. So we're going to take over this train. Their army's not going to get supplies. It's going to hurt them in a big way. Ooh, they've got guys on the MGs, though. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set up a very loud distraction. You can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay. But listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Eh? <laughs> there are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Oh, we're going Wait stealth mode. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. All right, I like this. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. Why? Manden mi saludo to Allende, pendejo! Allende, tenemos rebeldes! Use the throwing knives to kill guards? Well, that didn't work. Just an insta death. Got him. Nice. All right, a cowboy with ninja stars. I'd be scared of that too. Attach the train cars. Nice. Okay. So that worked out pretty well. Now we're going to take control of the Gatling gun. Why is he screaming? You're all about to have home for Night night, boys! Stop working for Ayinde and you wouldn't meet this kind of demise. More guys straight ahead. Can we hop up here. Nice guys, need 300 more bucks. We'll pull the brake, and off we go, let's get it. Stole a train. Well, I feel like it'd be very easy for them to be able to catch up to us, because they know exactly where we're going. It's not like you can turn a train off course. But I guess we're all right.
That was kind of fun. The Ninja Stars were an interesting twist. I don't think anybody actually used those back in the day, but uh, I'll take it. A fun little stealth mission. We hadn't done that in a while. Hadn't done it at all in this game. You move like a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. Blow the armored car and take whatever we need? Okay. I'm down for that. The hatch is up above us. I was trying to jump up the ladder to see if we could go faster. Is that loco? Let it run! Alright, let's find out the treasure inside. I'm kind of excited. Now take a look inside. Maybe again there's another gift for us. Loot the armored car. I don't know if I can trust this. Oh, there were guys in here. Loot their bodies. Five bucks. What's in the safe? Move LS right to search for the first number of the combination. If the dial is moved in the opposite direction, you must start over. Okay. Left to search for the second number. Okay. Back to the right. Let's see what we got in here, boys. Woo, here we go! What is that? Money? Sacks of money? And a note. Hopefully it's telling about their like battle plans or something. Ooh, a new weapon. Like what their next move's gonna be. Oh, two hundred dollars, dude. Let's go. We're up to nine fourteen. Yes, that's what I like to see. All right, we are gonna be close to that uh, that shotgun, man. That's exciting. Or maybe we want to go for the buffalo rifle. I don't know. We're gonna have to look it up and see which one's gonna be better. <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are hold up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh, my spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. 